Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the modern setup host if you notice it's taking up a high amount of disk or CPU usage on your Windows computer. So we're going to go about resolving without too much of a hassle here. So basically the host servicing process is a command line utility that's designed to service and prepare the Windows images. So this is a legitimate process within Windows here, but if you notice it's taking up a little bit too much usage of your system's hardware, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully limit that a little bit. And that's going to entail opening up the start menu, just so I'll pull the start button at one time. Type in settings. Best match to come back with settings directly above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to left click on the system tile one time. And now you want to left click on notifications and actions on the left side. Underneath notifications you want to uncheck the option where it says get tips, tricks, and suggestions as you use Windows. So uncheck that box if it's currently checkmarked. Once you've gone ahead and done that, now you want to click the back arrow up at the top bar of this window. So go ahead and click the back arrow. And now you want to go ahead and select the personalization tile. Select start on the left side. And now where it says show suggestions occasionally in start, you want to unselect that. So toggle to the off position by clicking inside the oval one time. That should turn it off. And once you're done with that, you want to now go ahead and click the back arrow up at the top once more. And now that you're back here, you want to go select the privacy tile. Scroll down on the left side until you find the area that says background apps. Go ahead and left click on that. And now I personally go through all the apps that are currently given permission to run in the background. And anything you don't actually really use, you can go ahead and just turn it off. So it's just going down the list and just toggling the ones you don't use into the off position. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. So just go through that. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. And once you're done with that, close out of here. Restart your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve the problem. If not, another thing you can try would be to open up the star menu, type in run, so R-U-N, best match to come back or run, go ahead and left click on that. Now I'm going to have something in the description of the video, I want you guys to copy it. So I want you to copy what starts with control.exe, and I'm just going to paste it in here, so control.exe, and then srchadmin.dll. So once you have it exactly as it appears on my screen, you want to either hit enter on your keyboard or left click on OK. And now that you're here, you want to select the modify button. And now I would personally suggest unchecking these areas to index locations to just take note of which ones are currently selected. So uncheck anything that's currently being indexed and then select OK. Just take note of it, so I would suggest considering re-enabling them at a later date. However, most people really shouldn't have the need to, and I mean, it's kind of debatable in my opinion whether you need it indexed or not. Again, people will disagree with just about everything, but I personally don't necessarily always advocate for all of your system files to be indexed. So we're going to go click on close to get out of there. I would suggest restarting your computer, and hopefully I should be able to resolve your problem. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.